guys, as you may know, you can put the prefix un in the front of any verb to make it negative. Like untie, or unlock, or undo. All of these are standard verbs, and you can find them in the dictionary. But commonly, native speakers put the prefix un in front of verbs that are not in the dictionary to make a process the opposite or negative. Several common ones of this that you won't find written down usually are to unlearn. This is commonly said in the world of education. Students often come in with bad habits. They have learned something the wrong way and a teacher or a mentor has to help them unlearn the bad habits so they can learn the correct ways. You must unlearn what you have learned. Of course. Mom's left-handed hatred was learned, which means we can help her unlearn it. Wow. You must have been very brave, Schneider, coming here with everything. Knowing only the entire language and struggling to unlearn the metric system. Another common thing that we say in conversation is to unsee something. This is often said as a little joke uh, if somebody sees something unpleasant. Like, if they see something gross that they didn't want to see, they say, Ah, oh, I can't unsee it! It is in my brain forever! Um, or, I really wish I could unsee that. <laughs> Strip him. Really wish we hadn't done that. I can never unsee him naked. I mean, the size of that thing. You have some serious afterburn. And then you can't unsee what you saw. Your Honor, I'd like to enter into evidence this photo of a badly beaten Rihanna, as well as this print ad for the Entourage movie. Why? I can't unsee this. Who is this for? The same for unthink. If somebody tells you something or gives you a new idea and you cannot get rid of it, it is in your head forever. You say, ah, oh, I can't unthink that. Meaning it's there forever. I think whole relationships were had within the three days of that. I saw a lot of things that I cannot burn from my memory. I don't, I don't think. Yes. Lolo and not Some verbs this doesn't make any sense with. You could say to un-Google something, but that doesn't make any sense because once you put it in Google, it's there forever. A little research on your friend Petya. I Googled him. At least I tried to, and there's no record of him anywhere. Natalie, people like Petya, important people, wealthy people, they are ungoogleable. No, Mr. Monk, it doesn't work like that. It's not like an unlisted phone. Ungoogleable. You can't really unjump because jump is finite or undance. Um, you can't really uncook something because once it's cooked, it's cooked. But for a lot of other verbs, you could easily and feasibly put un in front of it and have it make sense. Um, unclean something, which could be to make it dirty. Uh, you could unregister from something. Lots of us do this every day on the internet when we unsubscribe from unwanted email spam. Uh, so, when you speak, you can do this to practically any verb that has a reversible process. And it will be correct. In writing, it's not really so correct to say unsee something, but it is very correct in spoken language. Consult your dictionary to see if it is a dictionary word when you have to go write something, 
but otherwise, you are pretty much free to try and put un in front of any verb. Steve, I know you clone these girls. If the CIA finds out, I'll lose my job. Now I gotta unclone them. Unclone means kill. Whoops. Unclone means kill. Honey! <gasps> This whole thing happened in 24 hours. I can make it unhappen in 48. What the fuck did I say? I'm sorry, T. I just thought I'm I... I'm gonna unfuck what you just fucked up. I'm gonna do something nice for Johnny. Like what? What the fuck am I supposed to do? I'm sorry. Why did I think I could do this on my own? Hey, don't beat yourself up. Huh? Parenting is hard. Like, I've seen and smelled things today that I cannot unsee or unsmell. 